Hello, my name is Aaron and welcome to Board Games, Bricks and Hobbies. Uh, this is a series where I take a look at a board game and show you how to fit multiple expansions in the box. And today we are taking a look at not one, not two, but three expansions for Dominion. Let's get right into it. So, um, what do we have here? Well, we've got the Intrigue Update Pack. This included seven cards that kind of replaced cards that were in the original version of Intrigue, um, and that came in a smaller box. Uh, we have Nocturne, uh, which has kind of a more spooky, uh, supernatural theme to it. It's got werewolves and zombies and things like that. And then Dark Ages is... Um, themed around essentially the Dark Ages, you've fallen on hard times and, and money's a little bit harder to come by, so you have to find different strategies um, to with your cards. Now, you're probably looking at these and wondering how these can all fit in this box. Um, and if you've seen other videos in this series, I typically try and use the base games insert uh, and fit all the expansions into that. Uh, so this is actually the first in the series where I will not be using the base game insert. Uh, and we'll get into why here in just a minute. Uh, but if you are familiar with Dominion, you'll probably recognize this. Uh, so this is the base game's insert. Uh, and it's great for fitting all of the cards in the game. Uh, there's a label strip that goes in the middle here and the cards are essentially in alphabetical order. And it's pretty nice if you only have the base game. And so that's the problem, is while I think this insert is great and functional uh, for the base game, it's not super functional if you have multiple expansions. And so that's why this has to go. And so when we get that, um, we end up with this custom insert here, uh, which the one I decided to go with is, and I will put a link for this somewhere, uh, is the DOM-001 insert. It's from Go7 Gaming. And I also got some additional uh, dividers for it uh, so that I would have more dividers. Um, and I got this insert um, because it seemed like it fit my needs. Uh, there are several custom inserts out there, uh, and some of them are for sleeved cards, some of them are for unsleeved cards, uh, so if that's something that you care about, make sure you pay attention to that, uh, because sleeved cards do require more space. Uh, but I don't sleeve my Dominion cards, uh, I don't think it's really necessary. Uh, for me, at least, they all wear pretty evenly. And so with this one, uh, it is designed for unsleeved cards. And uh, they also make an updated version of this. Uh, but the updated version does not include um, a wood bottom, which is something I wanted. And we will get into that right now. Uh, so let's have a look then at what's inside here. So... We have the three instruction books right on top, and they just fit in there nicely. And then right here we have the trash mat. And this is the meat of the game. Now, I'll go over how everything fit in here uh, first, and then I will go over the insert itself and just kind of how I was put together and uh, why I chose it, things like that. So right here, we've got three rows of cards. And again, with those uh, dividers that I mentioned, uh, the dividers are clear in this version. I believe the updated version from this same company uh, uses um, wood dividers, uh, but I liked kind of the clear look. And again, I do not sleeve my cards. Uh, so this uh, was the best option for me. And right here, we can see that I've got the base game cards right here. Uh, they are arranged in alphabetical order. 
so just kind of as you would file something uh, back in the day um, when people used files more often. Uh, but so we've got artisan, bandit, and so on down the line. Uh, right here in the middle, this chunk is uh, Dark Ages. So we've got the altar, the armory, and so on all the way back. Uh, this small section right here is the Intrigue Update Pack that I mentioned. And then right back here, uh, we have Nocturne, which has uh, a lot of cards. Uh, both Dark Ages and Nocturnes are larger expansions. Uh, they have more cards than some of the other ones. And so you can see those right here again, alphabetical order. Uh, and then right here on the this side, we have our randomizers. And right here we have the ruins cards and the curses, and then the victory point cards, uh, both the main cards, the three main cards, the states, duchies, and provinces. And then right here we have the special ones. I separated those out from the expansions, uh, so they'd be easier to grab. And then in the middle here, again, we've got the uh, gold, silver, and copper, as well as the additional special um, treasure cards right there. And then over here, we have a small section with some promo cards, uh, at the black market and the church. Um, I also have the stash over here because I just think that's a fun card. Uh, and then the boons, hexes, estates, as well as the shelters from Dark Ages. Uh, so that's how everything fits in there. I'll go ahead and just leave this up here for a moment. Hopefully the camera will focus well enough. Um, but yeah, so there is the insert. Again, this is uh, four expansions, I guess, and a, a couple promos thrown in there. And so the reason I got this insert is because it has a wood bottom. So if you remove some of these cards, uh, you'll see right there that the bottom is wood. Uh, there are some inserts that do not have a wood bottom. And to me, that just seemed flimsy. Um, maybe in, in practice, it's not. Uh, but I would, when I pick this up, pick up this box, it's, it's fairly heavy. <laughs> and uh, it is well balanced, uh, but it is fairly heavy. And so I'd, I wanted to make sure that the bottom of the insert was wood uh, so that there wouldn't be any issues with sagging uh, or anything like that wear on the box due to the weight of the cards. Um, so that's why I picked this particular insert. And again, uh, since I don't see the cards, uh, this is just what was most practical for my needs. Uh, if you don't, if you do sleeve your cards, uh, they do make a similar insert uh, for sleeved cards. Uh, it only has two rows and then some smaller rows in the middle. Uh, so you might not be able to fit as much content in there, um, but you'd still be able to fit at least uh, one expansion. And so I said I would get into uh, the build process here. Uh, it's pretty easy. Um, this comes in a wood slab and you just punch it out and put it together. Uh, they do recommend gluing it. I didn't glue mine because the box, as well as these dividers, uh, just kind of put an even amount of pressure around it. Uh, eventually I might want to get glue it with some wood glue. I just didn't have wood glue handy, uh, so I didn't at the time. Uh, but it stays together well, and it's got enough room for everything. Uh, again, you can put the manuals in right on top and the trash mat. It all fits rather well. And, and uh, so the last thing, I guess, is to go into these dividers, uh, which you may have noticed. Uh, so these I cr created uh, using uh, the inserts from the main game. So if you're familiar, uh, it'll look something like this. And again, these go in the center of the normal plastic insert for the base game. And so what you do with these is um, I went ahead and picked up this plastic sheet. Uh, this is obviously much smaller than it was originally because I have used it, uh, but it comes in your kind of standard poster board size. You can pick it up at any 
a local craft store uh, or even uh, some big box stores might carry this. And I picked this one because it was plasticky, uh, so seemed a bit more durable than just the standard paper uh, poster board. Um, and also because I liked the opaqueness of it. Uh, so that allows you to kind of see through the cards a little bit as you're flipping through them. And so what you, I will do kind of a quick uh, tutorial on how I did these. Uh, essentially you will take one of the cards and you'll want to trace around it like so. Just quickly trace around it and then you will cut it with scissors. Uh, and then once you have cut it with scissors, uh, you should end up there. This will not be exact, but we'll just do it. We'll do it live. All right. So, uh, and you will want to make sure that uh, it is about the same size as the card, uh, because if it is too tall like that, uh, then it's going to end up overhanging and that's going to kind of mess with the, with the filing system here. So do it like that. And then you'll take, you'll cut out one of the labels here like this. Um, this is just a blank paper, just as an example. And then after that, you'll want to get your tape. Um, and you'll want to use about this much, which is what I've been doing. And you will put it on like this. Uh, and this is the tricky part because you have to make sure that you put it in the right spot uh, based on where the card will go in this filing system. And yes, do I know that there's probably a bunch of printable dividers out there uh, that people on BoardGameGeek and other places have made? Yes, um, I, there's definitely a lot of uh, dividers out there that people have come up with, uh, but I, found it a lot more enjoyable to kind of make my own from scratch and it's just really satisfying. It did take quite a while, uh, but it is just really satisfying to do something yourself. Uh, so I know I could have probably saved a lot of time uh, by finding uh, some files for dividers that someone had already created, uh, but this was just a bit more enjoyable and relaxing and also makes it feel uh, really custom. Um, so. Yeah, if, I guess if you didn't want to do something as labor intensive as this, uh, you could go ahead and find some of those files uh, for dividers that people have already made. Uh, now, once you put this on here, uh, you will fold it over like so. And then you'll see there's some leftover right there. And with that, you'll just very simply trim it off like that and then do the other side as well. And then once you have done that, you will end up with your divider and then you can just slot that right in next to the cards. So let's go ahead and clear that off again. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, that is how to fit uh, four expansions plus some promos into the base uh, Dominion box. Again, uh, most of my other videos uh, focus on just using the base games insert, uh, but in this instance, uh, the base games insert really is just not practical for holding multiple cards. And Dominion is a game uh, that I feel uh, is more complete with at least one, uh, maybe two expansions. I don't, I personally don't need all of them. Uh, so this is kind of as far as I'm going to go. Uh, but I will hang on to this little box and I'll explain why. Now, let's say uh, you own Dominion and a friend or a family or another person you know owns Dominion, uh, but they don't have all of the same expansions as you. Uh, so maybe they just have the base game or maybe uh, they have some different expansions that you don't have. Um, so I keep this around uh, because whenever I go over to someone's house and I want to play Dominion, uh, but maybe they only have the base game, uh, well, I can take this and I can pick, go ahead and pick out uh, some hunting grounds and I can go in and pick up 
Uh, it's the Raider. This is just an example. I have no idea if this is actually going to be a good deck. Uh, but essentially I can go in here and pick out a custom deck of 10 or so cards, box it up, and then I can take this over uh, to their house and we can play Dominion uh, with some different cards. Uh, and that's kind of a, an easier way to uh, transport all of this uh, when it's not needed. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please go ahead and leave those down in the comments below. I do read all of them. Uh, I really appreciate you if you stuck around this far. Um, be sure to check out some other videos on the channel. Again, this is Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. Um, take care.